Assalamu alaikum and welcome uh, to my first lecture of Asan CCNA series. This is Shafqat Mahmood, your instructor, your trainer from Easy Expert. Uh, in my first lecture, I would uh, describe the uh, network first, why, what is network, then I'll describe why we build network, and the third one, the benefits and the drawbacks of the network. So let's start our first slide. Uh, here you see that. Network definition uh, is very really simple. Uh, connectivity of different devices through some sort of medium for the purpose of communication. Uh, you see that for the network, there are four major things we need. The first thing we need is network devices. The second one, for the connectivity, there is definitely a medium. And the third thing, there must be a proper connectivity. And the fourth one, there must be a communication between devices. In simple words, if one of all these four things is one of the missing one, there's no network. Okay, and if you have any problem in your network, this is my tip. Please uh, diagnose your problem using this sequence. First of all, try to sort out your problem using communication. Then check the connectivity and then medium. And at the last, you may can say that there is a device problem. So this is the proper order if you want to diagnose your network issues. Here in this slide, uh, there is there must be a reason behind the network, why we build network. So in simple words, we build the network just to share the resources. Resources mean if you have internet connection and you want to share among your among your family members, among your friends, among your class fellows, to share internet connection, should share printer, you have to establish a network. Here you see. I hope you are understanding this properly. And the third one slide, this is very much important. Obviously, there are some benefits of the network and there are some drawbacks. And an administrator um, obviously um, observe this slide with open eyes. If you are establishing a network, the first benefit of the network that it reduce our cost. What does it mean? Here you see. If there are three users and all three users require printer, so we have to provide three separate printers, three separate internet connection. Obviously, it costs a lot. So if you establish a network, you can share a single printer among three users. So the first thing, it reduces overall cost. And the second thing, improve performance. Improve, improve performance means if you are copying, let me explain in simple, uh, in simple way. Let me explain first. If you are copying uh, some data from this PC to this PC, just you can drag and drop because of your network. Otherwise, you may use USB and you may use your external drive and definitely it takes a long time. And the last one is very much important. This is the drawback of your network. Obviously, if there is a connectivity between computers, there is a security risk. Okay, so uh, in a security risk, someone can destroy your personal data, someone can hack your data. So obviously, on, if you are designing a network, you have to design a network which reduce overall cost, which improve performance, and definitely that must be a risk free as well. So these are uh, the basic things we uh, discussed today. So inshallah, now I'll join you in my next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.